Okay, that's great. Ready to go. Good morning, everybody. If I can have your attention. Um, I think we're going to get started. There may be some more people milling in. If you have to leave, you know, don't worry about it. Just get up and go. Uh, we will uh, film this presentation. So if you miss something, you want to see it again, you want to tell somebody else about it, we'll put the links up. I'm also going to ask Mytel to give me some links for um, training demos and, and just showcasing the uh, the product so you can go out and look in case you missed something. Um, we wanted to uh, introduce this today to get everybody excited, as excited as we are about a new phone system. Um, the teams that we have here today are Mitel and Frontier, the teams that we chose to, uh, to give us our new phone system this summer. Um, I'm going to hand this over to Ken. He's going to uh, to show you all the wonderful things that you're going to enjoy about this new phone system. If you have any questions, please ask. Uh, Ken can answer everything. Okay. Well, that's that's <laughs> a that's going to be tough to hit that, but okay. So I'll take a few minutes here. My name is Ken Finkelson. I work for Mitel. I'm a systems engineer. Uh, I'm the guy that if you ask a question, you know, what time is it? I tell you how to build a watch. Okay. So most people. You know, when you have that kind of situation come up, need to keep aspirin ahead if you know you got to talk to me. But I'll try to keep it on a level or whatever that'll be beneficial to you and try to go ahead and show you a little bit about what you're getting yourselves into. And you're getting yourselves into some pretty interesting times right now because you're going to be able to do probably a lot more than you are today. Before I go too far, though, I'd like to go ahead and introduce the rest of the team, starting with Shana from Frontier. Uh, Shana is your account manager here. She manages the relationship between, I'm sorry, strike that. Uh, probably start in the wrong place. That's okay. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and, and introduce yourself first, so please. Thank you. Thanks for the student. Uh, I'm the account manager with Frontier. Uh, I am the actual lead account manager, and I'm responsible for all the relationships that we have with Frontier, including services, equipment, and networking. So I, that's my responsibility. The next person is Shana Mullen. Hi, I'll introduce myself. Hello. Um, I, I partner with Janice and some other account executives in Illinois, and I had the privilege of working with your IT staff and recommending the solution along with my team, uh, Frontier and Mitel. So we're really excited to be here today, and we're going to share all the technology that you're going to have at your fingertips. Um, like Sherry said, please ask questions. This is not meant to be a training session where you need to take notes on how to. That's going to come later. Um, but this is more of a technology um, review, so you can see what, what's coming. And we have snacks, please get up while Ken's talking, help yourself, because if you don't eat these, then Sherry's going to take them back to her office and eat them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much, and um, the rest of our team is here. Um, you just want to say hello, stand up and say hello, but um, we don't need to go into great detail, because I don't think we have a lot of time. I'm the local manager for the area. What's your name? I'm Gerald Cooper. <laughs> I'm Sam Malatella. I'll be the tech installing the system. So if you have any questions or any concerns on the system, I'd be willing to answer those too. So. Okay. And also from my team, Aurora Stanton. Hi, everyone. I'm Aurora Stanton. I'm what we call an area stabilist. So as a manufacturer of the system, we don't actually um, provide the support in the day to day. That's our partner, Frontier. They're local, they have the feet on the street, a lot of experience working with Mitel, um, but what we focus on is really innovation, R&D, and so I'm going to see a picture of that today. Mm -hmm. To Jason's iPad then. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be a few minutes. If you want. Okay, that's fine. I wish we could do this all the time. 
<laughs> I hear you. So anyway, so we'll dive right in here. So you guys got a new, rumor has it you guys are getting a new phone system. Am I, am I right here? Okay. So the fact that you are, we'll talk a little bit about what it is that you're getting. So we'll talk about the differences between the sets, but the first thing I want to do before I go over the differences is talk about the similarities, because all of our phone sets have the same basic layout there. So if you walk up from one area to another, you don't have to retrain yourself on what the phone will go ahead and be able to do. So as you look at the instrument here, you'll notice, and there's two kinds of phones up here on the counter, you'll notice that you've got everything seems to be in the same place, and it's by design. As you look across, you've got a volume up, volume down, speakerphone and mute that's there. You've got a program key, hang up, last number redial, message waiting. As you can see, I have a message on this. Uh, conference and hold and the keypad so everything is all in the same place so you don't have to go ahead and relearn everything as you as you go from place to place in addition you've got the capability of what we refer to as hot desking which will allow you to go ahead and walk up to somebody else's phone hit a code and make that your phone for the time that you're there and then go ahead and, and turn that feature off when you leave so, for example, you're in somebody else's office. You know, hey, you can use my office for today. Okay. You can go ahead and punch a, a, phone in, a code in, make that phone yours, go ahead and operate just like that was your phone, and then go ahead and turn that off when you're done. So you got that. And that includes things like your message waiting lamp, the last number redial that you had, any phone calls that you made previously are all going to be in that instrument until you leave. So you've also got, uh, in terms of the differences in the sets, Basically, some of them are aesthetic. For instance, this one is not backlit in terms of the display. That one is, so you can go ahead and see that. And the number of keys on there. So that's really basically the differences in the sets that you have. You also have the capability down the road, should you like to go ahead and blast web content into the phone. You Oh, no, that's fine. So this is meant to be interactive, and please feel free to stop me as we're going, okay, if you guys have any questions or you want to hit on another area. So another item we've got is the thing called twinning. So let's kind of talk about that, and this may change the way you do business today. Uh, for example, for me, I need to be reachable, all right, and I'm also on the road a lot. So I've set up a situation where if somebody rings my telephone number, area code 312 479 9031, it will ring my desk phone, but it will also concurrently ring my cell phone. It will ring on my computer screen to let me know that's happening, and it'll also ring a soft phone. So I've got all of that going on at the same time. You've got that capability of going ahead and making that uh, set up to however you need, want it set up for you, and you can adjust it to what you need. For example, maybe you don't want your cell phone ringing on the weekend from, the, from work. You can go ahead and do that. Maybe you have one person that you don't want to hear from on the weekend that you can go ahead and say, if it, this person calls, send it to voicemail. Or maybe you want to have somebody that when they call you, whether it's the, the chancellor or someone, I'm not sure of your hierarchy, you want all those calls to go through. You can do all of that with this system. So again, it, it's going to be kind of different from the way you do business today. So again, we can twin 
sing, you know, t a couple of devices together or set up a personal ring group linking multiple devices together and can do it in just about any order. And I'll show you on a computer screen how easy it is to do that. Sure, we can do that. So what I'd like you to do, if you wouldn't mind, is go ahead and call me, area code 312-479-9031, and let's see what happens. Now, this is a live system. This is actually the telephone that I use. So go ahead. Okay. I'm getting it on my computer screen. I'm getting a soft phone on my pads going off. My cell phone is going to start going. It's already hitting, too. So now I, I've gone ahead and I've gone ahead and picked it up from my telephone. All right? Hello. Hello. So you can kind of see what's going on. But there's other cool things that you can do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and hang up on Shane and ask her to do that one more time. Watch this. Let's say I'm walking around the office. I've got my soft phone on my pad. Go ahead and call me again. Hello. Okay, so now I'm talking to her from my pad. I've actually got a soft phone going here. But I get to my desk and I'm saying, you know, talking on this pad's a little on the inconvenient side. So, what would happen if I go ahead and hit my handoff key on this phone, and now she is on my desk phone? Hello. See? Those are the kinds of things that you can do. All right? So the other thing, too, is I could set up to where my pad doesn't go off all the time. In my case, when I'm at home or whatever, I use this for things other than work. This is my personal pad. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll have this in my living room, and I'll see a call coming in. I may snatch it, and I say, oops, let me go to my office, and I'll go ahead and grab it and put it on my office phone. You guys will all have that capability as well. Oh, and it, it'll, work on, uh, it'll work on any device. So depending on how, the, uh, how, the, how your system is programmed and who's set up to do what. So if you find that's a need, your system can certainly do that. Go ahead. Um, someone called me, okay, and I picked up on my iPhone. Does it show my number of the iPhone number? No. That's a good question. The answer to that is you can program it to not do that. So if you're calling out from your iPhone using the, the, uh, the uh, uh, school system, you can blast out the telephone number from your desk and not have to worry about people calling your iPhone at all hours of the day and night. Okay, so you have that level of capability. Go ahead, Aurora. To do that, just to clarify, to do that, you have to, um, the only thing you have to do is um, download the app and then the app will still be showing it. You can show you in a little bit. Um, once you do that, you have to initiate the call from that app because that app is connected to the phone. So, I mean, that's the only, really, it's... Okay, so, so if the call is coming in to me, though, and I'm going to answer on that, I need to go to that app. No, no, no. That, that will happen automatically if you have the training set. Right. And so the question was on an incoming call. Right. Incoming call. Right. Your call ID, no. no. And all incoming calls, they don't know that they're calling your cell phone. In fact, they actually think they're calling your desk phone. You could be answering at home. They don't know. They're calling hmm. your direct number to your desk phone. That's what's showing up on their phone. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah, I had, a, I had a, a young gentleman that worked for me several years ago, and this guy loved to call me at 5.15 in the afternoon and tell me what he did through the course of the day. Now, this is a 55-year-old person, but for some reason felt he had to tell me what he did every day. Trusted him, loved the guy, great worker, but he had to tell me what he did. So one of the features that I had is I could be in my car and not have to sit in the office to wait for this 5.15 status call to go ahead and do that and had that capability as well. And then if it turned out to be something I really needed to, I could drive back to the office, hit a button and go ahead and switch it back to my desk phone. So you got that capability. So again, so you've got that, that you've got uh, ring groups. In this particular case, I've got a web client up or whatever. And this is, this is available to you guys. Let me get rid of that error message here. Okay, so we've got a web client that just about everybody will have access to, right? And you can go ahead and see what's going on. In this case, and this is for any kind of user of any kind of device, would have this web client. So it doesn't matter whether it's, a, whether it's an Apple uh, device or whether it's a, uh, an IBM PC or a Dell or anything else. This will go ahead and work web-based for, for anything. 
So as you look up here, you can see what's going on. I've gone ahead and logged in. So there's a couple of different things. One is you get to see my smiley face, and number two is right below that, we've got the status. In this particular case, I've made myself available, primarily so we could go do these demos for you. In addition to that, I've got the treatment located to the right of it of how I've gone ahead and set it up. So any phone call going into 312-479-9031 will ring on the desk, on my cell phone, and on the soft phone. And in addition, I'll get a little piece of toast or whatever on the right-hand side of my computer, as you saw, indicating that there's a call coming in and who it's coming from. Right. In addition to that, or whatever, the last call that I made was to extension 29777. That would be Jim Graham out in Arizona. And to the right, or whatever, I have call control over my desk phone, which means if I click to dial from this device on the left, it will dial out from my cell phone. I'm sorry, from my uh, desk phone. I could also set up to dial out from my cell phone if I want to as well, or I could have it dial out from the pad if I wanted to. As we look down, you can see you've got a contact list. And this contact list also is a presence engine, which means you're going to know what they're doing at the time. Very, very handy if you're in a situation where you have to call for help. Let's say you're in the finance department and you may need to talk to uh, someone from uh, campus security regarding unpaid tickets or something along those lines. You could go ahead and see if the person's on there, what their status is. You could send them an instant message. You can kind of find out what it is that they're doing. So let's take, for example, Jay Beckett up here. You see that little clock next to that uh, instant message logo? That clock indicates that he's walked away from his PC and his screensaver is on. Chances are real good if I go to send him an instant message, he's not going to be there to get it. So I kind of know what's going on. In addition, oops, he's getting a phone call now too. You can see that his phone is ringing. You can see it's got the little bouncing thing on the receiver. As soon as he picks up, that phone will be in a raised position like it is down here for Mark Nelson. So you've got all of that capability of knowing. And this isn't a big brother kind of thing. It's more of being able to take care of things more quickly than you do today, probably, because of the tools that you have to play with. Does this make sense to everybody? As you look to the right, you can see what I've got going on in terms of unlistened to voicemails. Diane Jensen left me one while I was here setting up earlier. You can see calls that I've missed and calls that I've taken. And you can look up to the right. You can also go ahead and click on it and actually be able to listen to your voicemail if it's on there. So again, a lot of, a lot of functionality that you have in there. And I can go ahead and change statuses from here as well. So in this case, I'm available. I could go ahead and click myself and do not disturb, at which point phone calls would go immediately to voicemail. If you guys want to take me at my word, that's the case. If you want me to prove it, I can. Uh, whatever you guys want, because I know you guys may be short a little bit of time. So we'll take that as take me at my word here. And again, I can go ahead and select the device from here that I'm going to go ahead and use to have call control over. And again, for each individual status, I can go ahead and make a change. So let me, for example here, I will go ahead and change it for a second into Do Not Disturb. When I do that, you'll notice that calls are sent to voicemail. So it actually tells me what the treatment is that's going on. Does that make sense? Everybody, everybody see that change up there? Calls are being sent to. Now it's going only to voicemail. Make sense? OK. So we'll go ahead and put myself back into service here. And once again, uh, my phone could very well ring. Somebody could call me while we're here. So it kind of gives you a, a flavor of, of how the device goes ahead and works. So as we're working our way down, um, that same device that I showed you that exists on my, uh, on my pad here also will work on a cell phone as well. So you can put, put those clients, whether you've got an Android, a Blackberry, or if you've got a, uh, a, a Mac or a uh, iPhone, you can go ahead and do that as well. There is a client that you can go ahead and put on there and essentially do almost the same level of functionality for the unified communicator on there including getting those instant messages and things that may be important to you while you're out there in the field. All right. And you guys are more than welcome to go ahead on my, uh, on my pad there. You can go ahead and kind of see how, it, how it's set up there. In fact, we'll go ahead and do that for you right now. Everybody see that? 
So that's the actual client that I have on there, one that I've connected to the soft phone, and then I've got all the information, like my call history is in here. I can listen to voicemail messages from this device. I've got all kinds of things I can end up doing from here, and I can go ahead and send it from this device. Oops. I can send it from the device into the phone if I want to, and go ahead and, and, and move it around from device to device. Make sense to everybody? And like I said, you can do this the same from, you can do that from an iPad as well. The iPad look is going to be a little bit different, primarily because there's different developers do you know, have different kind of signatures of the way they do that. So there's a little bit of, of how show artistic license as they've gone ahead and set this up. So they, they look a little bit different, but they do the same thing. Okay. One thing that we've also got the capability of doing with this is, and I'm going to go ahead and switch to my to my. Uh, client version here. Is I've got the capability, and this is the client right here. Now, using your wealth of knowledge that you've got on our product line, basically what I've just showed you, you can kind of figure out as you're looking on the client version, probably looks a whole lot similar to the one that you just saw, right? In terms of the way it works, you can see that there's folks that are in do not disturb here. You got folks that can take instant messages. All of my folks happen to be on the hook. Let's see if we can find somebody that's off the hook. Yep, you can see Mark Nelson's off the hook. So and we knew he was off the hook from the other one. So you've got this capability from the client to be able to do the same thing as well. So I could go ahead and reach out to one of my teammates now and go ahead and call him and then go ahead and establish a collaboration session from this as well. So again, some other, other things that we can do. So if you give me one second, I will go ahead and get my counterpart on the line here. This is Jim Graham. He is in Arizona. And I'm actually dialing him from my, notice how I clicked on that, and my phone is ringing. Jim Graham. Hey, Jim, how are you, sir? Excellent, thank you. And you? I'm okay. You're in a room full of people, and you're actually on television, even though... Uh, because they've got a camera going here, but you don't know that, but you're actually on TV. So as a matter of fact, we may have you on TV in a second too. So what we're up to a point where we're going to kind of show everybody UCA into MCA. So we're actually going to go ahead and be able to take you from a session where we're on the phone. We'll be able to escalate that to a video. And then we'll be able to take it even further and take it from video into a collaboration session. So if you watch this right now, there's a couple of different things that we can do. If you look here on the diagram, you can see that handshake tool up there. I can go ahead and open up a collaboration session with Jim to go ahead and do that by clicking on that handshake icon. And by the way, there's about five different ways that you can do it. I'm just showing you one here. So you can make this work for you any way that you want. So as we go ahead and click on that collaboration session, we're going to go ahead and offer him a topic. So we're going to say Illinois College IC test. And I want to be able to do video and web with And I'm locked up here for some reason. Jim, do you have your client open? I do. Yeah, I'm getting a fail here, so. Let me try initiating it from my end. Oh, wait a second. It was just video that's locked up. I apologize. Order. Do you have your camera on? I do. OK. OK, well, let's just go to web. So I've gone ahead and established a web session. You're going to see some things bounce around now. And you can see that I've gone ahead and started a web session here. And you'll see that Jim Graham name has just popped up here in the session as well. So now I can do a couple of different things. So you can see that I've got him. And I can go ahead and establish my video as well. See? So you've got Brady Bunch video, if you want to call it that, with the tiles there. Now, I personally have had up to 19 folks on this at one time. So we've had the entire uh, systems engineering team for the central region for Mitel on this at one time working, and it's worked great. So you can see what's going on. I can go ahead and make the faces bigger if I'd like. I can go ahead and make them smaller and just have uh, share information as well. Right? But in addition to this, while we've got Jim here, we can go ahead and I can do a share of my desktop to him 
and I can go ahead and share the entire desktop. So let's go ahead and do that, and it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to do that? And I'll go ahead and click yes. So now I'm sharing my entire desktop, and this is what Jim is seeing right now. In addition to that, while I'm doing this, I could go ahead and open up a, an app, let's say like Word, which is running right now, and you can go ahead and see that I've got the phone information. So Jim can see all of that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and come back here. I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing with Jim, and I'd ask, Jim, can you go ahead and share something with me right now? Sure, absolutely. Now, you'll notice, all right, so now if you look very carefully, you see a thing called viewer just popped up here. And this is my ability to see what Jim is doing. So I can go ahead and click on that. And now I can see his desktop. And in addition to that, what I'm going to do is as much as I like looking at my own face here, I'm going to go ahead and shrink that a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. In addition, or whatever, if I've got a large quantity of participants, I can go ahead and have them showing up there. If I'm the leader, I can delete them from the bridge if I need to. You get somebody, if you've ever been on one of those bridges where somebody won't stop talking, or worse than that, they have music on hold, and they put you on hold and kill your whole bridge while they're doing that, you can go ahead and take them off by, by clicking on that. All right? You can also mute them, which I find really helpful. You yes, you can mute participants. Right. I can set the... 